which photos and videos have been selling with my stock work. Stay tuned. Update notification, update notification. As I mentioned in a previous video, the journey to make $500 of 2023. I wanna to share to my audience the journey that I'm going through with this stock work. We're gonna dive into the back end of my Pond5, Adobe stocks, and Shutter stocks and see what and which content is making money and where should I focus on creating more content on so that way I can get more revenue. Uh, what is in my control and what is available? Lastly, how to make the content be as unique as possible so that I am not lost in the mix of those same content out there. For example, shots of onions being cut, strawberries being washed, and so forth and so forth. Let's go in the back end and let me show you what's up. Okay, welcome to the back end of my stock sites, uh, which is Shutterstock, Pond5, and Adobe. Let's start off with the one that actually have the least amount of money made. And uh, I made $35.67. And I would say this is the last two years. I don't make much in Shutterstock and uh, they tend to reject a lot of the stuff I submit. And so I'm gonna take you in the back end real quick on this one. I'd rather talk about more Adobe and, and Pond5. So on this one, let's go real quick on my portfolio. And uh, recently, um, I just been submitting a lot of content such as green screen work, um, some random pictures of day to day from food uh, to um, type of like trade work. Um, sometimes I capture uh, dentistry, sometimes I capture a plumber. I put that in there. And here on the reviewed section, here's some stuff that got accepted, you know, just random stuff I captured with my phone. And this one got denied because of possible visible trademark. Um, you know, random stairs, uh, obviously right now with the season of uh, fall and the pumpkins that got accepted. And uh, there's a few more samples. This is just images on the video side. This is what they rejected. Um, I don't know why they rejected that post-production technique. It's all the same um, with the other green screen that accepted. You know, there's other green screen here. There's green screen here, visible trademark. Maybe it's the camera, but it's so small. Um, but yeah, like it says mo missing model release here. And then I re-uploaded it post-production technique. I don't know. Just uh, certain things sometimes it boggles me, but then you go down they accepted some of the other green screen stuff here and it's shot with the same lighting you know same camera it's just different stories and I don't know why they did not accept it so yeah majority of times I get denied in Shutterstock which I could care less because I don't make much on this site <clears throat> the one I kind of like um, as far as payout is Pond5, but I don't get as much purchase in Pond5. Let's quickly look at the dashboard here in Pond5. And this is what I've made uh, probably this year. And uh, you know, some of the stuff I got bought, food is pretty common. And uh, sometimes just random stories, like I captured um, the story of a burning uh, building and uh, and they were giving oxygen to this dog and so that was purchased and then even going through a car wash that got purchased you know so I made content out of that so I'm kind of shooting more of the day-to-day -day stuff uh, what's in my control is that and uh, at the moment I don't want to work with models because of the release I don't have a budget to pay these models so I want to work with content that it's in control of my budget and what is accessible to me and so those are the things i've been focusing on what i like about pond5 is they're pretty open to accepting a uh, majority of the content i submit i would say i only i get denied maybe 10 percent of the time whereas shutterstock probably 50 to 60 percent of the time which is quite annoying um but yeah i mean 
with Pond5, the beauty of it is the payout. It's they pay a lot more for a percentage. I believe it's up to 40% to 60 if you're exclusive with them. So there's times where I've made $50 for a video. So that's after their cut. I think it was $100 and the video is purchased for $100 and they take a 50% cut out of that or, or 60% and then I, I was able to make 50 bucks out of it. So yeah, that's what I like about it. And I like that they accept majority of the work that I submit. And uh, could or, it could be a good or bad thing because uh, good, it gets accepted easily. Bad, it might just be too much of broader type of content and a lot of people will probably be doing the onion cutting or the strawberry washing yes it is within my scope to i can shoot these things uh there's times where i do work uh on spaces where i go to restaurants and i have easy access to food and i will just shoot that for instance maybe like this uh chicken i was around this chicken um that was being cooked and I just snapped a shot with my phone obviously I didn't have my professional camera but majority of times I'm noticing with my Samsung uh, s22 they're getting accepted already and I've already had photos being purchased through these which was shot with my phone so the convenience is there the quality is not quite there some of it's getting sold and you know if i definitely focus on the higher end quality it does take a lot more time on my end and a lot more planning which is good but at the same time i do have a full-time job which you know it's it's a lot harder to balance and plus family and everything else so now let's jump over to my favorite one which is adobe stock adobe stock has been a real good site for me and uh yes they do deny most of the time and for the most part what i'm noticing uh that's being purchased in adobe which i get more purchased uh content in adobe versus pond5 and um and um shutterstock sorry brain fart there shutterstock i probably these are the, the amount of photos and videos that I, that's been purchased in the last two years this alone uh, will show me the amount of purchase this year. So this is how much I made already this year in Adobe Stocks. And look at the recurring uh, purchases. So if you notice, there is a big percentage of food that's being purchased. It's more exotic position uh, types of food shot. It's more stylized. It's not your typical food brought out to the table and you take a snapshot of the phone. So majority of these shots were professionally done with lighting and aesthetically designed into this. So I put a lot of effort into these uh, these aesthetic type of foods. And so they're getting bought. Uh, but yeah, there's even one uh, video here that was purchased it was very much a street food uh, scene and I just captured it through my phone and I got bought. So I'm noticing food is getting bought a lot and uh, I'm noticing now more green screen and so that's why I'm working more on green screen. You notice these are already accepted content and I'm starting to uh, build in more green screen work but it's because that's in my control. I work in a stage where there's a green screen and I'm shooting more green screen stuff. And there's a lot more day-to-day -day stuff that you see here. Uh, I'm also uh, designing um, content around uh, health. There's like this uh, medicine. There's the, even like the Aki checks, or blood sugar checks. So I'm kind of providing content that I'm thinking that might be useful for people that can create these content in their own um, projects uh, that's you know available to them and i'm hoping that this be, this will be a little bit more unique compared to what's out there it's, it's broad right so like i said i could easily be cutting in onions or washing strawberries but i'm probably going to be competing with thousands and thousands of content like that but you look at a sloth like this a smiling cloth a sloth i mean that's probably a pretty unique photo right there i mean look at these uh korean dishes you know, I'm sure there's a lot more options, but not as much compared to a strawberry being washed or onions being cut. So I'm trying to find very, very uh, more limited type of content that I can create around. And if I have the time, I will definitely set up that more studio look 
but if not most of it's gonna be probably shot through my phone here's one that was actually shot through my phone this bamboo 360 and that was a relatively easy um, high speed that was shot on my phone and you know stuff like that so that's more on the accepted side and let's see on the uploaded these are new I just uploaded them uh, in the last 24 hours and uh, as you can see more the day-to-day day -day stuff I come across a dentist I'm traveling a lot there's an escalator uh, I'm doing more green screen because I work in a green screen stage and there's stuff that I kind of see that I'm just uploading and most of the time it gets accepted and let's look at what's not being accepted in Adobe uh, um, stock so some more day-to-day -day stuff that doesn't get accepted I don't know why but you know sometimes it's they say aesthetic commercial appeal I'm trying to create a time-lapse to kind of get the idea away for uber you know the, the amount of people so it's, it's like high-speed um, content um, that people can see like you see here's plumber stuff like that some travel stuff so this stuff doesn't get accepted in Adobe but it's okay majority of times it is on the accepted side and you know these are the stuff that gets bought and for the recent updates and uploads I've accepted look these are recently uh, accepted look at all the green screen that was accepted and I'm noticing probably there's a small fraction of, of community out there making green screen work so the hard part about it like I said is, is acquiring models and getting the release and paying for those models so right now I am pretty much the model for the green screen and uh, some more day-to-day -day stuff that you can see so if you look at their insight this is where my inspiration this is where my motivation comes in uh, a lot of these people get a thousand plus downloads fascinating numbers fascinating how could I achieve that I'm sure they have gazillions amount of content but their layout is absolutely gorgeous uh, being they have really high-end photos and um, quality models that are, are actually you know, being used so I need to get to this level if I want to be achieving these kind of numbers but I need to put up some capital to pay models and get the, the releases going so again it all comes down to what's available to me and what I'm capable of doing in addition to what I have already dealing with family my regular work my regular clients and having stock photo as my second job all right so that's pretty much it on the insides of my uh, stock sites uh, this is my road to five hundred dollars and two hundred and two two hundred in two thousand twenty three and uh, I'm a little nervous because uh, there's not much action since I made that last video and I'm hoping that wow I mean like the previous weeks I'm like I'm hitting good numbers and all of a sudden burnt dead blank so I'm kind of I'm getting nervous that nothing is being bought but I'm hoping that I'm just gonna keep uploading and you know more and more videos will be purchased so that's about it so there you go guys an inside look at my journey at $500 in 2023 I got to get back to work and make more stock content so make sure you catch me on the next video on this update please support the channel by subscribing and giving that a thumbs up thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video Peace.